punch in the airport and when it came time to pay i said that i was on my own ticket and the waitress looked at my friend thinking that she was my mom i guess and literally laughed and my friend was like yeah she's an adult she could pay for her own food and the waitress was like taken aback um i don't know if she thought that my mom was really mean for making me pay for my own food or what but um it took a little convincing before she realized that we were not joking then we went shopping at this little shop and they told me that kids get free stickers so i did pick out this little sticker isn't it cute and another shop that we went to gave out free taffy to kids and they told me to come pick out a piece and i actually got to pick out two i got a chicken and waffles taffy and a chili mango taffy and both of them were really good a lot of people still don't understand so let me tell y'all something about the the law that just got passed in Florida and how it actually affects and impacts the state. And Arizona experienced it already, but a lot of people don't know about it. First off, Bush and uh, and the Republican parties, um, even during the Trump administration, they had the majority in the House, they had the Senate, and they didn't pass any immigration laws that that. Uh, made it illegal that if you hired an illegal person that doesn't have uh, uh, legal papers that you would go to federal prison for it. And you know why they didn't? Even when they had the majority on both all the, the House and the Senate? It's because they know that we have to use illegals to keep price of insurance, the cost of living down, the cost of the framing, the cost of the concrete work that needs to get done, the cost of sheetrock, drywall, electricians. Well, where do you think those workers are? You think they're white kids that went to school to, uh, that play on their PlayStation, the Xboxes, and they spend five hours a day on TikTok and on their social medias? You think it's those people are missing out on them jobs? If you do, you're an idiot. And secondly, once you can't get the, the, the people to replace a roof, or get them replaced uh, construction work that's not getting done, the cost goes up. You got to pay twice to three times as much. Now, where do you think they're going to tack that cost on? Thin air? It's going to come from the owners. So that house is going to triple its cost. So a $427,000 home is going to cost them $650,000. And you won't be able to afford it. And guess what? The insurance on that policy is going to be outrageous, ridiculous. Your monthly payments is going to be five or six thousand dollars. So you think it ain't going to affect the grocery stores, the truckers, all the people that work in housing, that work in in hotel rooms, they work in back in in the back kitchens, doing busing, cleaning. They're going to be gone. Your, your restaurants are going to shut down. You're going to have a waiting list standing in line for two hours just so you can get a sandwich. The waiting list at Texas Roadhouse and all these restaurants, they're all going to be You're not going to be able to go to have a restaurant and have a decent steak anymore. Why? Because you ran off the work, the help. Now, if you don't really realize that, then you're... I'm in the middle of something. I've been calling for this. It's about my partner. I have an audio tape. An audio tape? Yes. Jack, before you go, I'm going to say, I hope this doesn't take too much longer because somebody's going to take her spot on the street corner. Okay, uh, no, see, listen right. to this tape, okay? I called him up and I recorded our conversation. Here it is, right here. Okay, tell me a little bit about the conversation. Was that a telephone call he made to you? I recorded our conversation two days after I was fired. Mr. Marshall said I could get my job back if I took a little trip with him. So I called him back and made sure I was recording the conversation, and I did. I have it here. And that's the conversation you have on the tape? Yes. One okay. thing I got to say about that tape, it's an illegal wiretap. I didn't get permission to the tape back. Well, I got to hear you, this tape. Ray, get the tape from the plane. I can't wait to hear this tape. <laughs> well, if I was looking at my kid's report card, Miss York, it would be like straight F's on your performance evaluations. What? That's what he's got here. Show her. Sure. Do you remember signing those evaluations? I didn't sign anything. Uh-uh. 
on. This, an order. this is not my handwriting. Order. It's an order. That's not your signature? No, this is not my handwriting. Are you saying Mr. Marshall forged your signature? Either him or somebody else. But I did not I did not sign this. I never signed anything. I have an audio tape. An audio tape? Yes. Stop buying ugly phone cases. I guess I've been looking. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. Mr. Eric Cornell. That's right. I'm Sergeant Grant for the LAPD. I'm here to follow up on the 911 call me through this address. May I come in? Sure, of course. Please. Can't believe they really sent someone out for this. Now, I explained to the 911 operator that my son... Sir, where is your son? I'd like to speak with him if I could. Sure. Just a minute. Why don't we talk outside? Stevie, I want you to know you're not in any trouble. I'm just here to make sure that you're okay. Because if you're not, if you need help, all you have to do is say so. I'm here to help. I'm okay. I was just mad. At your father? You want to tell me why? He wants to change stuff. I like things the way that they were. But he, he what? He was unhappy with me. He, I got scared. I see. It's just you and your father, is it? Okay, well, you know Colin Hale wants a serious thing, right? Yeah. Which is why. I have to wonder if maybe the reason you call is a little more serious than just being around. No, that's all it was, I swear. Please, you just have to tell my dad that everything's okay. I, I just don't want him to be mad at me anymore. I understand, I do. A parent's approval is something that we all crave. We just can't let it stop us from doing the right thing. Understand? I think so. All right. If you're in trouble, you can always call for help. If you need some help trying to figure out the right thing to do, you can call me directly. I want me to. So, everything good? <sighs> or will you be taking my son into custody? Oh, everything's just fine. Thank you for your cooperation. Anytime. Stevie? Bye, Stevie. <laughs> Have a nice day, Sergeant. Me too, sir. So, he seems fine. Well, I said there were no marks on him that I could see, but fine. I'm not so sure. That's why I want to hear the call. Wait, Stevie, are you hurt? Me? No. It's a... Stevie, give me that phone. Go back. Stevie, give me that phone. Right there. In the back.
14 year old's gonna sleep with you. How old did you say Stevie was when you left him? Six. Do you remember her? She specified adult male traveling with two minor boys, one 13, and the other probably six.